Hello, Chair Scott, Ranking Member Dr. Fox, and members of the committee, and again, in particular, our amazing representative from Oregon, Suzanne Bonamici, thank you so much for your kind introduction. For the record, my name is Mark Mitsui, and I'm the president of Portland Community College in Portland, Oregon. Thank you for having me here today to speak with you about the role workforce training will play in our recovery and the critical need for investments in community college infrastructure. Speaking of infrastructure, in Portland, we have a lot of bridges, and I think of Portland Community College as one of them. On one side of our bridge, we have hardworking people who just need an educational opportunity. And on the other side, we have high skilled jobs that offer living wages that need to be filled. We, like all community colleges, are the bridge that connects the two. Investments in the students who cross the bridge and investments in the bridge itself can keep America on the forefront of the world economy and create a more equitable recovery. That's why we appreciate the president's proposed $12 billion community college infrastructure investment. Developing leading edge skills requires leading edge equipment and facilities. That equipment is getting old and our facilities are as well. Due to inadequate funding, academic facilities have a backlog of infrastructure and deferred maintenance projects. In evaluating facility needs, the American Association of Community Colleges estimates that the national total deferred maintenance renovations and upgrades to be $60 billion. While there is a cost to these needed improvements, the good news is that community colleges are a great investment. At PCC, for every public dollar that's invested in our college, taxpayers see a $2.70 return. Society as a whole in Oregon sees a return of $8.20 in reduced social costs and increased earnings. Likewise, a national commitment to edu education and training is also essential because post-secondary credentials are the new minimum. According to Georgetown University, 99% of jobs created during the last recovery went to those with at least some post-secondary education. According to the Lumina Foundation, about half of adults between the ages of 25 and 64 lack a post-secondary credential. Without upskilling opportunities, half of the adults in this country are at risk of being locked out of the next economy. We also see that COVID is accelerating automation as employers seek to pandemic proof their operations. The World Economic Forum estimates that by 2025 on a global basis, automation may displace 85 million jobs and foster 97 million new roles. Here in the US, this shift will disproportionately impact our most marginalized communities. Clearly, community colleges are a bridge between the old jobs lost and the new ones gained. Another key barrier to building back better is basic needs and security. According to a national survey conducted during the pandemic by the Hope Center at Temple University, nearly 60% of respondents indicated they experienced either food or housing insecurity with a black white gap of 16%. I applaud components of the America's College Promise Act that could push states to address food and housing insecurity resulting in higher completion rates. ACP also incentivizes states to reinvest in our colleges, which will reduce tuition and student debt. And I can't overemphasize the importance of the student success components of this bill, including the establishment of the Student Success Fund. Finally, support of minority serving institutions like on APZs, HBCUs, and TCUs are essential for bridging equity gaps. In conclusion, I'd like to end with a student story. Tara Roberts, a single mom with eight children, came to PCC. She was in tears when she reached for the classroom door for the first time, frightened but determined. At PCC, she found a community that supported and challenged her. Well, Dr. Tara Roberts now holds a doctorate in nursing and is an administrator at Virginia Garcia Memorial Health Center. All eight of her children completed post-secondary education to now teach at PCC. America's College Promise and the infrastructure investments are about helping more people like Tara and their families cross that bridge to a better life. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today.